Hello, I'm Glenn Tonzer, faculty member of the Department of Agriculture Economics, Kansas State University. The purpose of this short video is to raise awareness to the farm management guides that are posted on our agmanager.info website. What I have here is the home page for our Ag Manager website. Uh, there's lots of information here. All I'm going to do simply today is highlight the farm management guides and what is feasible to download and how to use those guides. What I would suggest is parties interested in those guides is to go over to the table of contents on the left hand side and click on farm management which is the fourth option. That immediately brings up this matrix or uh, you know, a list of hyperlinks within this section of our website and the fourth column is farm management guides and here you can see there's a section for non-irrigated crops, irrigated crops, livestock and other guides. For this demonstration I'm going to click on the livestock guides and then within these livestock farm management guides these uh, we, we have guides for different species and then for different segments within each species doing any of the industry so we have swine guides we have dairy guides we have beef cattle guides and we have sheep and goat guides the MF number here is here to make easy access uh, so for something to, to make easy reference to specific guides and in several cases there's a PDF document that can be downloaded and in particular in the case of the beef cattle we also have some Excel sheets that are accessible so for quick demonstration of what's available, I'm going to open the Beef Cow-Calf Enterprise, which is the MF266 Farm Management Guide. First, what I'm going to do is open the PDF. So I'm going to click this Download hyperlink, and you can see here a PDF document. It's simply four pages. Most of these guides are pretty straightforward. They reference a host of other guides. Uh, at the top of here, these guides, you'll see the number. So again, you can reference this when you're working with an extension agent or if you're trying to contact a extension specialist to discuss more details. The first page gives a narrative of basically the purpose of the farm management guide. Again, in this case, it's focused on the cow-calf enterprise for the beef cattle industry. Short discussion of key inputs. Then more narrow discussion about information that's in the budget. And then the core of what most people immediately get to although it's good to read the first two pages if, you're not, if you're not familiar with this, is to go to page three, which is basically the farm management guide budget situation here. And it's line items. At the top, it's returns per cow. So you have revenue information. And then below that, you have cost per cow. So cost expense information that is numerically um, mentioned by row and referenced on the previous page. There's three different example columns here, which basically are for different weaning percentage or successful weaning outcome um, situations. Of course, you know, a higher weaning percentage is more advantageous from a profitability standpoint, but there are operations that fit in these three different stylized examples. And then on the fourth column, we have this Your Farm, which allows for easy calculation of your own situation, or if you're, again, you're working with a different producer, you can do that here with them. In a moment, I'll show you an Excel sheet to, that gives you that information as well. So as you continue down, you calculate total cost. So you have the revenue on the top, cost section, and then we have a return over total cost, and then some additional you know, performance measures on profitability. The last page possibly highlights some of the key inputs, such as right, the amount of feed forage that's being assumed in this budget, just to understand where the stylized examples are coming from um, when you make use of these farm management guides. This particular one you can see was last dated January of 2012. Most of these guides are updated annually towards the end of the year or the first couple of months of the calendar year. So I noted a minute ago that not only is a PDF form of this available, but so is an Excel sheet. So I'm going to go back to the webpage we were at. So we're on the same spot again. This is our Ag Manager website under the Farm Management section, under the Livestock Farm Management Guides, and then the Beef Cattle section. Not only do we have the PDF for the Beef Cow Enterprise um, Farm Management Guide, there's an Excel sheet. So you can simply click on it, save it to your computer. And what you will see is this is the spreadsheet that comes open. Uh, contact information for the lead authors, which in this particular case you can see is Kevin Duvetter and Rich Llewellyn. The contact here for questions, clarifications. Of course, you can contact myself too. That's fine. And then there's different links for the different uh, beef industry farm management guides. And again, we're using the cow-calf example, so I just click on that box. And we open, again, we're still in Excel here, a different tab that is specific to the cow Beef Cow Enterprise. You'll see here we have the MF266 series. It's the same document we were looking at before in Adobe, but now we have an Excel version of this. 
What's advantageous of this is you could work with either your own operation or, again, if you're uh, an extension professional working with another uh, producer, you can work for their situation and put in information about their farm. So, for example, if I know I have uh, you know more successful weaning and I think I have more like a $400 value in steers um, and maybe a $370 value in heifers, right? So these are upper end compared to the examples that are there. And my cool cows historically do better than average. Uh, you can put in values that are slightly better than the examples here, and you'll see that the gross returns per cow in this example are on the higher end of these examples. Now, of course, you can know an uh, alternative situation where maybe you sell lighter weight calves, and instead, right, you're on the other end of the extreme, and you would need to more properly reflect that, in which case you would have gross returns that are on the lower end of the scene. Likewise, you can populate the cost per cow, and you continue to do that line by item. The nice part about this is, is not all producers are going to have all this information ready. Right? It's wonderful if they do, and I encourage people to understand their own cost situation. But if you don't, you have these examples from other operations, right? which are, this is basically a synthesis of data in our Kansas Farm Management Association database that gives you a starting point. So, for example, if you don't know exactly your summer pasture cost, a good spot to start would be basically the values that are here in these examples. So you can go on down through this series, and for the sake of time, I will not type all the way out, and come up with your own return over total cost measure per cow. That's very useful for understanding your own operation, and you can understand more narrowly, in this case, where your different line items of cost are and how they compare to other you know, representative firms in the industry, and likewise, how um, uh, representative your farm is compared to other farms on the revenue side. When you're done with that, of course, you can save your own file. You can print this document. You have a tailored version of this for your own operation. It's very useful for managing your farm, hence the term farm management guides. Hopefully you found this information useful. I encourage you to contact any of the authors of these farm management guides or, of course, myself if you have any trouble finding these or using these farm management guides. Thank you for your time.